gosh, I knew you could make little machines and stuff, but oh, you're a little artist too? I... You have... It, it's really useful to be able to sew, um, because clothing doesn't last that long in the rocket waste it if doesn't. you're not careful, and especially if it's not made out of the right stuff. Oh. <laughs> Hey Celine, I've always I've always wanted to do this because I saw I this is this is really stupid. Uh who's who's do you think would win in a fight? She says holding up her action figure. Ooh, I don't know. Celine <laughs> Celine is like actually very delicate and and cautious with this because she's she's had action figures before. She knows that you need to be cautious with them. Hmm. This is my first one and I was jealous. Alright. Now Hmm, we need to consider some stats here. Obviously, yours is way stronger and probably has a higher oh. constitution, although we're on even footing because both of our arms are broken, so. Oh, that makes sense. And yours is like, ooh, yours is super dexterous. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also, like these two mumble off <laughs> in the distance. You know, this is gonna happen for a long time, isn't it? It sure is. Oh boy. Yeah, um, while everyone is like, <laughs> she woke super glammy, who I guess is crying alone. Oh, he Glamier has been bawling in the corner. <laughs> you all right? I will be. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure if you were done cleaning up the sparkles in town square. I was going to ask if you... Oh, you noticed? I, I... Yeah, I was going to ask if you wanted some help. I'm good at seeing things in the dark, and I'm really bad at seeing televisions. He, he kind of, like, stops and, like, stares at the table for a minute. It seems like... It seems like that's a pretty big offer for him, and he just, he just, like, stands up real quick and <laughs> takes out a little haggy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Once, once every ten sessions I'm in, I get a literal perfect cartoon full animated view of what's happening in my head, yeah. and that's the first one I've had in about seven months. <laughs> <laughs> I um, would greatly appreciate that. Hey, is this this seems fun? But and I'm, it's cool to know there are things going on on the TV, but I sure cannot see them oh. like you guys do. Here, Atticus, thanks for lending this to me. Here you go. Hands no it back problem. very carefully. Oh, I'm sorry. This thing's never really let me down before. I'll... Well, it worked. It worked to a degree. I think. I think. You can't really blame this thing. I don't know what's going on with my eyes, but clearly they don't see the right things. Don't but worry about it. <laughs> you see that other cool stuff. I wonder if there's a thing I can look through that would let me see those funky auras. Yeah, maybe. She kind of like uh, skips off after Glamier. Okay, so we've decided, Delphi says turning around, if, if Celine or a firefly, it's weird, their stats are really similar, <laughs> have infinite amount of time to prepare, <laughs> then she'd win. They'd win. <laughs> and if, but, but, <laughs> Delphi raises a finger. In the case of like a random encounter, then Delphi would win. You know what, Delphi? I think you're absolutely right, but I just realized something. Why would they fight when they could team up? Ooh, that's a good point. Mm -hmm, think about um, it. This is the cutest live read of an internet forum discussion circa 20 <laughs> 2007. Celine <laughs> wraps an arm around Delphi. Now, here's the thing. Firefly has got her name like Firefly. What would your name be? Because you're super strong and you're blue, could you be like Brutal Blue Bloodal? Oh. <laughs> no, I don't like it either. We'll try something else. <laughs> oh boy, out of character, you know what I just- Fuck. I- He wandered off, I meant to get Arvis too, and now it's- It's literally everyone got to share in that except Arvis, and now I feel bad. Should- He can come in. <laughs> I just- No- <laughs> oh, I yeah, just no. imagine him knocking on sleep. like the- yeah, yeah, just imagine him knocking on the end door to get like a glass of water at 3 am like, Mom, I threw up. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Uh, Delphi's like, Delphi's like, okay, yeah, no, I had a strong person name once, um, I'm not gonna use that name, because that name's mean. Whoa. <laughs> she says furrowing her, <laughs> it may be a, she says furrowing her brow. Can I, can uh, I hear it, or is it top secret? <laughs> once I was known as Firefly. What would you say this, this kind of hat is? Like, I could be a top hat red, I could be a like this hat, but blue. Hmm. It makes me think of like a train conductor. 
<gasps> You're the pain train. Toot toot pain train coming through. <laughs> oh. She slides down the bench very slowly. That's so cool. Is Sprout <laughs> trying to get Atticus's attention? Sprout is wheeling around trying to get the blackened lemon. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, Ad Atticus will definitely grab it and, and hand it. Here you go, you. And he, like, runs around with it and then, like, stops and looks at it. Is it just a, a black lemon with no, nothing it's, else? No, it's, so it's a lime painted black. Um, it's got a little, like strand of thread for the question mark. It, it's it's like pipe cleaner-ish material, so it kind of yeah. holds its shape. And then on the very end of that, there's a, a little blue pebble tied to represent the crab. Uh, Sprout, Sprout's just tapping on the lime. Uh, it seem, he seems to be, like, really entranced by it, and then, like, sends it down trying to prop it up, and just kind of, like, almost like, squidges its legs and arms down, so he's basically just lying. Oh, so he's, like, the same shape. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Celine kind of plays around with the action figure a little bit and then kind of sees the firefly side of it, frowns and looks at Atticus <laughs> and is like, oh, jeez. At Atticus, uh, like, sees you look at it and then look at him, and he has a completely neutral smile on his face. That it's like a it's like a 50-50 whether he's just genuinely happy or whether he is taunting you. <laughs> Celine just kinda like sheepishly looks down and fiddles around with the cape. <laughs> Levin is cradling this like the most precious thing in existence. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh! Intermission Zendik! Intermission Zendik! Everybody get over here! Atticus <laughs> picks up Sprout to bring him over. Oh yes, thank oh. you for grabbing him. Oh. <laughs> Glammy and you, Velvet left. <laughs> yeah, you all settle in for another agonizing <laughs> probably 30 minutes of that. Meanwhile, outside, I need a glass of water. <laughs> God, it's fast! No! And further out... <laughs> Velvet and Glamier are very slowly cleaning up the outside. You, uh, Velvet, you watch as Glamier tries to clean up the, the remnants of the party. There's surprisingly more to it than you expected, but, like, I don't know, a good amount of work should be able to clean it up pretty quick, but as you watch Glamier push a broom... Uh, Sam, you wanna you wanna describe what that looks like? Oh god, it's awful. It's like the life is seeping out of him down the broom and onto the ground. He's trying to clean it back up. Uh, <laughs> it seems like he he is not used to using a broom or cleaning, but he's trying his goddamn best. <laughs> the the broom like impacts the ground and sort of it looks like he's somehow putting all of his force straight down so the bristles are just splaying out and then force shoving it forward but with remarkably little power so he gets about like an inch done every few seconds oh boy um so I was gonna say it's hard to broom up glitter and I would know but that's that's actually haven't done much sleeping before, huh? No, nah, no. <laughs> I must admit, I have not a very, uh, large experience in manual labor, as, um, my appearance might suggest. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you're, you give off the vibe of someone like walking down a runway who's very rich and pretty. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not really something that you can change about yourself. Once you're used to it, you just stay used to it, I think. Ah, well, you picked the right person to help you clean up glitter. She, um, normally... Can I have the broom for just a second? Go, go ahead. Normally, the problem is, like, this thing, and she brooms a, a little pile of glitter and does that fucking thing when you're brooming dust where like no matter what mm. you push into the pan there's always like a line on the side yeah. of the pan. The line! Oh the line! So uh let's call this a magic trick. She pushes it into like the best pile she can get. Okay. Um she 
puts her hand down on top of it and like it's there for like a second and she lifts it up and the glitter pile is gone and it is not on her hand at all. Ooh, oh, that is marvelous. Let me, let me, let me try that. Uh, let me, um, he, he goes, okay. he takes the broom. Okay. <laughs> she, now she watches as this is about to not work at all. He goes and he sweeps. He doesn't have as much dust because he's just trying to frantically see if he can do it. And he goes and he, oh. <laughs> he takes a second and realizes he has to put his hand on the ground. He's like, ooh, ew. Yeah. But he does it anyway <laughs> and puts his hand down. And he closes his eyes and pulls it up, and the same thing happens as yours. Ooh! Ooh! Velvet is very surprised. Oh! Can you absorb glitter? Are you like a sentient glitter? He winks. <laughs> I'm taking that as a straight yes, I hope you know. <laughs> <laughs> he lets out like a hearty little laugh, but he kind of sighs at the end like, oh, I'm gonna have to explain that one later. <laughs> Well, this is, uh, thank you for that trick. This is a very useful little tip because I would prefer not to leave evidence everywhere I go. Oh, no. Are you on the run? On the lamb. <gasps> no, it's just, it, I feel bad leaving little bits and pieces around when I'm going places because, you know, it's, it's just like another mark I leave on the world and I'm going to be scooting on out of here soon, so... Oh, I feel that, actually. I feel that a yeah, lot. Well. Oh. Yeah. Okay, well... I at least have the insurance that'll be back in about a month or so, give her a few, few days. Give or take a few days, and... Not much changes around here. Oh. It's kind of a nice change of... Everyone's really nice. Velvet, like... She's, she's walking around with her parasol like it's a cane. And she just unfurls it and refurls it really slowly over and over again. I don't deserve this. He stops uh, sweeping and like he's turned away at this point. Uh, he stops sweeping and kind of like takes takes a few seconds to like stop and like breathe. I understand how one can think that way. Probably more than you would expect, and I constantly have to remind myself that the kindness of others is not wasted on me. And I think that someone like you, someone like you should also try and adapt to that maybe, because I can tell you're not a bad person, you don't have ill intent, and... I'm trying to be the same way, and even if, even if I feel like it's, he kind of, he kind of turns and does like a weak little, uh, finger quotations with one hand, even if it's wasted on me, at least it gives other people purpose to think that they're doing good and to think that they put smiles on my face, so every bit of kindness will go a long way in the end, and it'll be worth it. She is. That hit her super, super hard. Him too. He's he's not like used to talking about that sort of stuff openly. Usually he's just. Usually I'm just a card flipper, and I tell people what they want to hear. But when it's me saying what I need to hear for myself, that's that's a whole lot. That's a whole lot harder to get out. Yeah. Yeah. She continues sweeping. I'm gonna do my best to try and think that way, actually. It's hard, but it's worth it. Just like this dang cleaning. God, why didn't I try and teach myself this sooner, you stupid man? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's okay. How? I've had all these years to clean, but no other people insisted on cleaning for me. But no, you learn now, Glamia, you'll learn. <laughs> oh my god. Oh You'll learn the him. hard way breaks broom over own head. No. That's it. <laughs> He's like trying to do like a stupid, stupid glamier and hitting himself with the broom, but it explodes into bristles and they just, no! they just show Joe sparkle behind him. <laughs> now there's more dirt than we started with. <laughs> Can I ask how you... 
how you did that? Because I know how I did that. And I bet it's the same, but you should tell me how you did that. Um, hmm. <laughs> well, I can't, I can't tell you all my secrets. I've got to be a little bit mysterious, you know. I've got to, I've got to keep the look and the actual personality consistent. But, um, what I can tell you is it's, it's a little bit of two things. 50% a family secret and then 50% a gift from another place. Oh man, that's a hundred percent cool. <laughs> he, he turns over. He has his hand clutched on his chest. Really, really. Man, yeah. Lamia gets it. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone here is so cool and interesting and nice, and I, uh, I'm gonna be bummed to leave. You can always consider it the way that I do, is even if I'm leaving here, I'm toddling off to other towns to put my nose into other people's business for a few weeks at a time. It's always gonna be here when I come back. It's nothing changes, everyone's still smiling the same way. As you continue uh, working, picking up uh, picking up little bits and pieces off the ground, um, uh, that, 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 those final words ring out that, uh, Stays the same, people might change, but more or less this place is always the same, and uh you you feel almost like you you hear almost a rattling sound. Um uh the the devices on Glamier's desk begin to shake a little bit, uh the lantern turning off and on rapidly. Oh, uh, this again. And up in the up in the uh up in the restaurant, you all watch as uh, the TV flickers on and off for a second, and like, it almost seems like the entire building is shaking for a moment. Uh, the the dialogue, uh, the the ham-fisted dialogue, and honestly, way too loud trumpets growing distorted and almost alien in their uh, alien in their depiction. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, get the drinks. Get the drinks. They're gonna fall. Uh, Delphi grabs the drinks as, uh, the, the entire building, like, it, it rattles a little bit. <clears throat> oh, they're moving the stupid sails again. The what? Uh. Ah. Oh, uh, oh yeah, I guess you are from the city, you've got a sail up over your head. Uh, yeah, no, they, uh, they call this the RNA and Echo. Ooh. <laughs> motions, uh, motions with their hands. Ah. It's, it's, uh, it's something that happens sometimes, usually when something big's happening. They, uh, they actually... Most RNA and devices, and this thing's RNA and make, she kind of points at the TV. They're powered from somewhere. Uh, they've got battery packs, obviously, which is how we power most things. But right. if there's a sale nearby, uh, it'll switch over to remote power and everything swaps around. So if there's like a big RNA and movement, like they're going somewhere, or there's a big parade or something, they they bring one of those sails with them. It's high up in the sky. Delphi yeah, they fly them over. The they try and do it at night because they think it's less conspicuous, but we know we see them. Ooh, uh, <laughs> Velvet, Velvet looks up. Can I see it? Uh, it probably no. just looks like a star at this point. It's yeah. Just so oh, it's tiny really high up. Okay. Up it's, it's it's very very high up, and um, yeah, no, uh, it's it's this it's this tiny thing off in the distance. You think you think you might see something, but it's 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 hard to confirm. Um. And uh, you hear the distinct, almost like an almost un unsettling supernatural call as uh, the radio in Levin's bakery begins to flick on and off, repeating random fragments of words, numbers, and sentences that no longer fully connect. After a few moments, the the phenomena passes. Your new power source fully and properly hooked up, but it changes the character of the night and you can't help but shake that sensation of something looming far far above your head at a size and a sight that you can't fully grasp <laughs>